Joseph, there are a lot of inspirational books out there. What makes yours distinctive? Well, I wanted to combine uh, science, religion, and faith into one book. Uh, science deals with uh, fact, religion deals with faith, uh, philosophy deals with reason, and I believe uh, all three are necessary, fact, faith, and reason, in our research uh, of the meaning of life and the purpose of the universe. There's a world of people out there who don't regularly practice any religion, but still have a spiritual side to them. How would they react to the book? Funny you should say this, because uh, these are exactly the, the people the book is written for. Mm. Uh, also to religious people, I wanted to say um, losing religion is not about losing faith. In fact, it's about going deeper. And that's really where the, the whole fun begins. Um, we have all the tools to lead a meaningful and happy life. And these are the tools that the book discusses. Now, you have had quite a meaningful life yourself. You're part Persian, part Slovene. You grew up in England, and you've had a lot of dramatic ups and downs. Could you tell me a little bit about how your own biography fed into the book? Uh, yes, I mean, there were certainly many ups and downs, but perhaps there were like three events which truly defined uh, uh, the course of my life. The first one at the age of 15, uh, when I was uh, diagnosed with a hampering illness. Second, some 10 years later, premature death of my younger brother. And last but not least, um, the, the, great, the, the last recession, which basically removed pretty much all our comforts and uh, got me to search for the meaning of life uh, through normal living. Now, you've had a lot of different careers as well. You were a rock musician, you ran a major modeling agency mm -hmm. and a construction company, you've been a millionaire, and you've also had months where you just barely scraped by. Tell me about the last few years when you took time, set it aside to research and write this book. Yes, after going through various stages of life, you know, of uh, being a teenager, making your money, uh, realizing that uh, money is not making you happy, trying to find the purpose in all sorts of directions, I sort of came to a point where I just had to like remove myself from the society and seriously think about what is all this about? I mean, luckily for me, I have been researching since the age of 15 because of that illness and then because of my, uh, the things that have been happening to me. And uh, also, I, I really wanted to experience everything. Rather than write about knowledge, I wanted to write about experiences. And suddenly you realize that uh, everything is connected. Uh, everything flows together, everything is intertwined. And uh, Things started to come together uh, through a lot of meditation, uh, pondering over the various facts, details, uh, beliefs, uh, combined with reason. And suddenly this uh, book just came out. I mean, although I've been writing for many years, suddenly it all came together. The title is The Unfinished Book About Who We Are. Why unfinished? Because as you research as you spend your lifetime researching the meaning of life, you realize you're, you realize you're researching something that is unfinished. Hence the title, The Unfinished Book. It sounds great, Joseph. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to reading it. Thank you very much.